The Crown of Thorns Starfish is essentially a venomous deep sea porcupine. The only difference being that porcupines are adorable and this thing is terrifying. Well that and the fact that the starfish makes its living by chomping down on the coral reef biosphere, which is made much easier when the aforementioned coral is stressed. And luckily for the crown of thorns, people are really good at stressing out corals, so I'd say they pretty much have this in the bag. Normally their main obstacle would be the triton trumpet, a massive deep sea snail with a fun name and penchant for dissolving stuff in stomach acid. But again, luckily for the starfish, these trumpets have recently been overfished to near oblivion. And I'll just give you one guess as to whose fault that may be. In all seriousness though, these prickly little fellows really were an issue, so before you could say starfish extermination campaign, groups of COT bounty hunters were sent out into the field, where they unceremoniously sliced, diced, and otherwise slashed countless starfish into tiny little pieces. But of course, as you might know, starfish are famous for their healing factor, and all those tiny little pieces were born again as brand new, fully formed starfish. Luckily for the coral, these laughably incompetent humans were not the only creatures in their corner. They also had a helping hand from a consortium of aptly named guard crabs. These crabs had a symbiotic relationship with the coral and a deep-seated hatred for the crown of thorn starfish. And while I would certainly wish for this war of crown and crustacean to be some kind of epic medieval battle with armies of charging marine life, reality seems to be a lot less exciting. The guard crabs basically just walk up to the starfish, pinch a hole in their stomach, and leave. Yeah, apparently that works, but cutting them in half decisively doesn't. Meanwhile, the human side of the starfish suppression effort became much more manageable with the introduction of starfish killing bile. And you know what? I'll let you guys figure out what that one does yourself. Unfortunately, in order to be effective, the aforementioned bile must be injected directly into the starfish, which, as you can imagine, is incredibly tedious when done by hand. But when there's a will, there's a way, and eventually, the starfish science people decided, like most things, the best solution was also the simplest. And in this case, that meant building a group of killer robot assassins. Obviously. So then, before you could say hostile AI takeover, swarms of algorithmically controlled robots are sent out to the ocean, armed with enough star killing bile to wipe out a constellation or two. Seriously though, the Cotspot is, by all accounts, an incredibly well designed robot made to exclusively kill Crown of Thorns starfish. To the point that it can even distinguish between a 3D model and the real deal. Like, they could probably get past a CAPTCHA so long as it was starfish related. Most models help their even more direct ways as well by planting brand new coral larvae. So yeah, it's a good idea. Maybe even overkill, but all I'm saying is that everything else we've done so far has backfired horribly. So who's to say that as we speak, these starfish aren't reverse engineering these robots for their own devious ends? You may be laughing out, but believe me, when you're bowing down to our robotic starfish overlords, you won't be. Anyway, that's basically all I have for you guys today, but in case you've missed the past few videos, then I'll let you know that I've been hiding Florsh pictures in my illustrations. If you don't know what a Florsh is, it's this guy, the flower horsefish and unofficial mascot of the channel. The last video proved that I need to start hiding these things a little bit better, with 404 Air, Bloody Pigeon, and a dozen others finding pretty much all of them in a matter of hours. So if you want to be mentioned at the end of the next video, then keep your eyes open and either comment about the Florsh's in the comments down below, or let me know on my Discord server. Link in the description. Either way, until next time, don't die. See you later.